A daima journey is an experience. It's not just a matter of turning off all this noise that you usually have from the city and tuning in with nature and appreciating what is around you, but looking at some of the deep patterns that exist in nature, looking at, you know, what makes leaves so successful at transporting water up very high trees. What makes a coral ecosystem so resilient? So we teach the students to start observing some of these things. And we then take them actually through a very concrete process of what it is to go from looking at the biology of something and translating that into a design, into an architecture or a product. What does it mean to do, go through this process to be more sustainable? But it's also a matter of appreciating just some of the things about the natural world. We tend to have a tourism that usually comes and just takes from a place. What we want to do is try to give back. So we usually get involved with some kind of a community involvement activity. So um, the, the journey could also have a library refurbishing activity where we work with local children to upgrade the facility they have or to repaint an area or to plant an area. A lot of students come out of these journeys knowing something new about themselves or about their peers and this is incredibly significant. So it's just this mix of these three components together that makes these journeys incredibly successful.